What's up guys, Sila here, and we're on the Mr. Pandaria beta again, and we found another rare mob. This one's in the Valley of the Eternal Blossoms, and this one's called Shan Tide Hunter. He's a level 91 Jinyu, and you'll tell when he's spawned or he's about to spawn because there'll be this dead crab here, and it almost seems to be here when he's like due to spawn or he already has spawned. So that's kind of like a, a an indication of when he's going to be here, pretty much. So he is a Jinyu, so he will do the, the normal Jinyu abilities. He has three in total. Water Bolt, which is just a, a cast and it will do damage on to his current target. Isn't too much of a threat, but is interruptible, but I wouldn't recommend interrupting it because of his other abilities. Next is Torrent. This is a channel and a cast. And if you let him channel it and then begin casting it on someone, it's going to kill them in a few ticks. So I definitely recommend saving your interrupt for this. As you see, I let it go off on the Warlock pet, even only a couple of ticks. And his Warlock pet dies shortly after because of just of how much damage that does. And the final one will be this like Water Spout, which will make water droplets fall from the sky. Um, does quite a bit of damage if you let any of them hit you, but you can easily avoid them. He's, he's, he is also stunnable and CCable, so you can stun him during a Torrent or a Water Spout or whatever it's called. This ability now. He can be stunned during the, the channel of this. And that isn't interruptible by a normal interrupt. Once killed, he will give the bag of uh, bag of goods and a random blue piece of equipment. And also along with that, he'll give a item that's unique to him, which is the Aqua Jewel. It will increase swim speed by 50% and allows underwater breathing for 10 minutes. It's on one hour cooldown. And it gives you this cool, like, transparent look. Um, as you can see now, it's like a watery, transparent look. And as you see, someone jumps onto my mount and gains the, the look as well. So it's really cool. It really does affect your mounts. Like gives them like a, a completely new skin and a really cool, sort of unique skin. Definitely one of those items if you, you're one of those people who likes to sit in Orgrimmar with cool spell effects and things like that on. This will definitely be an item for you because it, it really does... Even though you, you're slightly transparent, it really gives your mounts more of a whoa factor. So definitely one of those items for people who like to, to show off basically with cool mounts and with uh, cool spell effects. So it does increase swim speed and things like that. Now as far as I'm aware it doesn't get removed in combat but don't quote me on that one. But as far as I know it isn't removed in combat so you can use this during raids and things like that as like a, another transformation item. So yeah, um, that's the Aqua Jewel and that comes from San or San, yeah we'll go with that, Tide Hunter. <laughs> Found in Valley of the Eternal Blossoms, and that's another rare mob guide. And we're coming to the end of them, there's only a few more left, and then we've covered all the rare mobs that can be found within MOP. So, thanks for watching, guys. Look out for more videos coming soon. See ya!